So how's it going boss buddies? Hope everyone's doing fantastic. Now yesterday I had a full wearing of Jump Up and Kiss Me Hedonistic um, by Clive Christian. Now this one's a little bit special so stick around because I'm going to tell you all about it. So welcome back, you're watching the Luxury Fragrance Boss channel. My name's Scott, of course, I'm the Luxury Fragrance Boss. Now yesterday I had wearing of something a little bit special. Um, it was part of the Addictive Arts Collection from Clive Christian, um, but there's something a little bit different about this one and the way that they blend this, this particular collection. This one's an absolutely stunning leather fragrance. First of all, I just want to say a quick thank you though to um, at Clive Christian Perfume BLM 59, um, which is the Clive Christian rep at Bloomingdale's and 59th Street in New York. I don't know if you can, I hope you can see that and I hope my autofocus is working properly. Um, but that's who sent me the sample of this one to try out after seeing my other reviews about the Clive Christian fragrances. They said, you really need to try this one. And I'm so glad I did because um, it is insanely beautiful. It's such a beautiful sort of, um, I mean, I'm a huge leather fragrance lover, uh, lover anyway, but this one with a beautiful blend of leather, vanilla, and the clary sage and uh, black cherry, it's just an absolutely incredibly beautiful fragrance. Um, I sprayed it on my wrist when I received it last week, and just like now, I cannot stop smelling my wrist, and I was like that the whole afternoon that I put it on. Um, I actually sprayed up my wrist and then I went and hit like 120 golf balls at the golf range and I could still smell it even though I've been sweating and stuff like that but I could still smell it on my wrist just like I just put it on. The longevity of this one is fantastic. As I said, I had a full wearing of this one yesterday. Um, when I woke up this morning, I could still smell it after I'd showered as well. So it was still, um, it was still had a very, very good presence. There's not too many fragrances that I can say in my collection that I do get that from. Um, the few that I can think of off the top of my head are, um, uh, Christ, one of my favorite fragrances, I couldn't remember, How Fetty, um, Aventus and Interlude are the main ones that I can still smell the next morning. Um, nothing else that I, nothing else in my collection I can really sort of smell the next morning. So this is one of those ones that will go the distance. Um, projection, as you can expect from a leather fragrance, it's not massive. Um, I'd say a good two to three feet. I could still smell this. I mean, I could smell this all day long during the time that I was wearing it. Um, and when I got home last night, my wife didn't say anything straight away. Hello, Killian. Um, my wife didn't say anything straight away, but um, later on in the evening when we were sort of having a little cuddle together, she said, I really like what you're wearing today. So, um, I mean, I, I do like to think that my wife's got very good taste in, in my fragrances. Um, I mean, I, I don't go asking her what she thinks about them. She'll say if she likes them or not. Um, so, I mean, this one she really did like. And is it, to me, this is a very, very sexy smelling fragrance. I'd say it's a perfect dating fragrance because it is one of those ones that, it is a little bit closer. It's got a little bit of strength to it. Um, sorry, the cats are uh, the cats are <laughs> going crazy at the moment. Um, so yeah, I mean, this one is a very, very wonderful smelling fragrance. Um, let's go over the notes of this one, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the technology. Um, in the top notes, you've got bergamot, grapefruit, and neroli. I have to say, I don't really get any of those when I smell this fragrance, even from sort of right from the opening. Um, in the high notes, you've got black cherry, mate, clary sage. And in the base notes, you've got amber, leather, <laughs> labdanum, and vanilla. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, mo the main notes that I get from this, as I said in the beginning, are the leather, vanilla, uh, black cherry, and maybe the clary sage as well. But yeah, it's, it's a beautiful sort of sweet smelling fragrance. The best way I can describe this one is, if you go into a, a, like a, an incredible department store, and let's say you go into like the leather, where the leather jackets are, and you find a leather jacket that's very, very expensive, and it's got that sort of sweet smell to it, um, and very, very luxurious sort of leather smell. That's what I get from this fragrance. Like I say, it is an incredible smelling fragrance. Just that vanilla-y sort of leather blend is just absolutely insanely beautiful. Um, now, just go over this, as this is at a higher price point. Um, this may put some people off, like I say, I think it's worth the money because it is an incredible fragrance and I'm absolutely addicted to it. Um, the price point of this one, I've only got the price in pounds in front of me, it's 560 pounds uh, for a 75 ml bottle, which is a little bit bigger than normally, normally you get with a Clive Christian bottle. They normally come in 50 ml. Um, but just to let you know about the technology of this one, 
Now, Addictive Arts uses pioneering perfume technology, PPT, um, that is breaking boundaries in the world of niche perfume. It's called Addictive Fusion, a form of headspace technology which captures molecules through a chemical process unique to Clive Christian perfume, and it cannot be copied or imitated. So they are doing something a little bit special with the blending of this one. And I have to say, going by this one, the results are absolutely phenomenal. I'm really, really um, interested in buying this fragrance, so I may have to bite the bullet and spend that money um, because I really do like this one. I would really like this in my collection. Um, unfortunately, I do have a fascination, many of you know, with boozy fragrances and also leather fragrances. Um, one of the one of the leather fragrances that I do really love, and it's actually one of my designers, um, I do own Supreme Leather because this is sort of like a higher end, um, Ralph Lauren, I absolutely love that one. It's got like a car like a caramel leather smell about it. Um, but this one is just, I have to say this one is insane. Like I say, the longevity and the projection are very, very good. Um, like I said, you don't expect massive projection for a leather fragrance, but yeah, two to three feet comfortably. And the longevity of this one just goes on and on. Um, I mean, like I said, there's not too many fragrances that I can still smell the next morning, even after showering, but this is one of those. So, um, I mean, that's my thoughts on um, Jump Up and Kiss Me. I forgot the name of it then. Jump Up and Kiss Me Hedonistic um, from Clive Christian. As usual, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and let me know if you tried any of this collection, what you think about any of the others. Um, so, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe below. I'd, like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Luxury fragrance boss as well don't forget to hit up um, um if you are if you like to follow clive christian make sure you follow clive christian perfume blm 59 as well um i'll leave the link um, below the screen there uh besides that hit that notification bell so you know every time i'm releasing a new video um other than that stay smelling fantastic look forward to seeing you very soon and thank you so much for watching